Hello, in this tutorial, we shall learn how to simulate Wheatstone Bridge circuit. <clears throat> now, this circuit is made up of a combination of resistors connected in series and power. We've got two, uh, two resistors connected in power, and then another two connected, sorry, two resistors connected in series, another two connected in series, and uh, those two resistors each also connected in power at these very junctions here now what we are going to do to make sure that the voltage across the point here where we have a here at this junction a is the same as the voltage across the junction b and for that matter the difference between the voltage across these two junctions is zero so what we are going to do is to measure the voltage across this resistor r1 which is the same as the voltage across the point a and measure the voltage across resistor r3 which is the same as the voltage across point or the junction b the other way around that you can do it is to look at it from the left junction here the negative side here the voltage across r2 here is also the same as the voltage at point at junction A and then the voltage across R4 is the same as the voltage at junction B so either you use these two on the right hand side on the left hand side or the other two on the right hand side so I'm going to use this and for us to see the voltage across R1 let's quickly look at it So I have connected my voltmeter and I'm going to simulate and see what is the voltage across R1. And that is 6.75 volts. So I've stopped the simulation. I'll quickly measure the voltage across R3. Which is 17.471 volts so in a nutshell the minimum output is the one across r1 which is 6.75 volts and then the maximum voltage output is the one across r3 and then the difference will be the voltage difference between the one at the junction a and the voltage at junction B so let's quickly measure the voltage difference between the two junctions so I'm taking the leads, the leads off and then measure the voltage difference And the voltage difference is 10.721, which is the difference between the voltage across this resistor and the one across R3. And that is the same as the voltage across junction A and junction B. So this is the, that is the difference, and that is the voltage output from the junction here. So what we need to do is to vary this resistor here, R4 on the, the difference between the voltage across junction A and junction B becomes zero. At that point, the voltage across R1 and the voltage across R3 are equal. So what we are going to do is to vary this resistor here, which is a variable resistor, until we get a voltage zero uh, difference between these two junctions. Let's do that now doing with my so I'm doing that with my key 
bought here and let's see what happens incremental of one percent so at seven the vote meter has registered a voltage difference between junction a and junction b to be 372.104 pika volts and pika is 10 to the power minus 12 so it's going to be something like 0 0.0000000372104 which is approximately zero so it has not registered zero here let's stop the simulation so now the junction, the two junctions are not balanced. Oh, uh, what I can also say is that this branch of the circuit R1 and R2 is not balanced with R3 and R4. Now, in case we do not know the value of R3, which at the moment we don't know, what we can do is to find the ratio between R1 and R2 and multiply by the resistor here the value of the resistor here and the value of the resistor here is 77 percent of 100 ohms so 77 percent of 100 ohms is 77 volts and when we divide 2 by 14 and multiply by 77 what you get is 11 so the, the value of the resistor here is 11 let's check that one you can also do this calculation with your calculator and check. So the value here is 11. That is that. And in case we want to also find this voltage here, what you can do is to divide this by that and multiply by half rate and that gives you 77. So what we have done here is to uh, balance the bridge, which we have done. But another, another thing that you can also do to balance the bridge is to make sure to make sure that this the voltage across R1 is the same as the one across R3. Let's simulate and see. That's 6.75. Let's check the voltage across R3. Let's quickly simulate and see. And that's also 6.75. So for the bridge to balance, the voltage across this here must be the same as that and you can also use the right hand side the voltage access side if we should be the same as the one across the so that the bridge will be balanced thank you very much for watching this video and expect more from you